because in the gay community, I'm not white enough, and in my ethnic community, I'm not straight enough. So it's like you can't win in either one, unfortunately. So that's why it's so important for us to like carve out our own spaces where we can express ourselves the way we want to. You can't talk about discrimination in your mental health without talking about intersectionality because it's hard enough as it is being a person of color, it's hard enough as it is being a queer person, so it's a double negative when you're both, and there's even more layers upon it, like being low income, being the child of an immigrant, being first generation. Um, it all adds to it, and it all intersects, and it all gets very, very heavy, and just because I carry it well it doesn't mean it's not tough. Sexuality is just always so fluid and like we all, <laughs> some of us, I know I did, went through that phase of coming out and being like, I'm gay now. I have to be gay. I have to be super duper gay. Um, so I would definitely put on a little bit of an act and I would try to be excessively feminine. And then I was like, wait, no, I'm, I'm still a boy though, so I can be super masculine. And I would put on front and try and be more masculine, especially after encountering guys who would say they're not attracted to feminine guys. Um, and then I realized you're allowed to be both. And it's just so much more fun to be both. It's so much cool to be both, so much cooler to be both. Like, why not get to choose the multiple flavors when you're at the ice cream shop? Nowadays, I'm finding people are discovering it and it's so cool and it's so much fun and they're enjoying the process of becoming more themselves every day and it's, gender euphoria and it's so much fun. As an expert in gay, no, um, for all the queer kids watching this right now, just do you. Just do you. You guys are so lucky to be born in this time um, where there's just more acceptance, more representation, um, because it's it was tough for me. It was even tougher for people 10, 20, 50, 100 years back. And we are standing on their fights and their progress on their shoulders. Um, so we can really celebrate all that our communities accomplished, um, but there's still so much more work to do. And you are so worth it to fight for it. You are so worth it. The kids that are coming are gonna be so worth it to fight for them. And um, just, yeah, do what you gotta do. If no one else is gonna take care of us, we gotta do it. So love each other, be kind to each other, be patient with each other, and again, just be as queer as you can be.